So what's personal information? Uh, personal information, it's not just your name, your address and your phone number and your email. It is information or opinion and it need not be true. So when the Privacy Act first came in, there was this big thing about doctor's notes on the side of patient files uh, and whether or not that was personal information and it was deemed to be personal information. So the doctor's opinion might be that you're a hypochondriac and they've written that on the doctor's file. Uh, that is personal information that you are entitled to access to. Previously, nobody liked to give you access to that because it's embarrassing for the doctors. Uh, and I understand that medical professionals are a bit more careful about some of the notations they make now. Keeping in mind that the Privacy Act came, back, came in back in 1988. Uh, personal information need not be recorded in tangible form. So a conversation with somebody, just verbally communicating information, could potentially be a bit breach of personal information. Personal information must be about a natural person, so not somebody who is deceased. Um, and it is information that either specifically identifies that person or could be used together with other publicly available information to identify that person. And it doesn't apply to any entity that's not a natural person. So your business, if you're a company or other registered entity, that entity does not have personal information, only individuals do. In terms of it being personal information as well, photographs are, can be personal information. So when you join a gym and they take a photo for your ID so that your you know, gym pass goes through every time, or they can check your ID, you know, your image when you scan your gym pass, uh, that's, that is a collection of your personal information. 